What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Brester Show. Today we're going to be playing a game called Father's Day. Now I know nothing about this game besides I hear that it's scary and it's the sequel to Find Yourself. But um, why waste any time? Are you kidding me? This game right here is like, I don't want to play when I literally just started the game like for no more than five minutes ago. See that? An error occurred while updating. I don't understand why it's trying to... What is it updating? There's, there's nothing to update. I just played it. I just I just literally just put it on. And now it's like, oh, I can't play your game. Oh, we can't play that game. That game, that game can't be played. I just, I just can't do it, Captain. I don't have the power. Look at that. All I had to do was restart my whole PC. My goodness. It shouldn't be that difficult. I shouldn't have that many issues. I got a brand new PC. It's got a 4080 in it. RTX. Okay, it's got an Intel Core i7. So, whatever that was doing, that's just some lame sauce right there. Uh. Alright guys, welcome to Father's Day. Man, about 15 minutes later, I finally got this thing launched. Here we go. I'm not wasting any time, we're going to get right into it. I haven't played a horror game in a while. Well, a true horror game. I played a few horror games here and there, but they weren't all that scary. This is this sensitivity is okay. There we go. That's a little better. Did I hear that laughing? <laughs> what makes people go back to the past? Why can't they let him go and move on? Who's him? Parental home, first aid, family picnic, going to the city fair with a child. These are warm memories, but only if you are happy now, and if not, then these memories tear your soul apart and do not let go. You want to go back there and be happy again, but you can't. How to fix one fatal mistake that changed your world. Phil, you have to... You have to, mister! These past cannot be changed. Free the future. What is happening? Just so y'all know, I've recorded three games so far, and only one of them had audio. This one. So, yeah, I was very, very unhappy about that, but what can you do, right? You just got to take the let loss and move on. Oh, wow. This is very reminiscent to PT. The boy who disappeared six days ago was found by local residents. It was discovered in an abandoned hut outside the city near the park. According to the boy, he 
He was kidnapped by a man dressed as a clown when he was on holiday with his father. There's a maniac operating in our area who kidnaps children. Disgusting. Aha, uh -huh. it's uh, just a closet. Well, we close you then. No need to open you again. Now I know that. A flashlight, eh? Yeah, no, I heard something over there, but I heard some over here too. What is this? Oh, fuck! Freaking dog! Okay, damn, you don't have to shout at me. I'll leave you alone. Hold on, let me get that. Yes, we don't want any. Okay, goodbye. What is all that skitter scattering? It just follows my movement. There is no time to be distracted. You need to continue working on the project. Holy shit, it's a time machine. Just so you know, I feel like this isn't gonna work and then you're gonna die. And then you're going to wake up into a different reality. If we're not already dead. Yes. Oh no. Wrong door. He really did not let up on that uh, doorbell, did he? He was really ringing that doorbell. Thank you, sir. You have a wonderful night. Okay. I guess I'm just going to leave the door open. Anybody can come in. That is not an invitation. Do not come over to my house. Wow. I got him strong. I really threw that over there. Instantly. Well, is that it? Is it completed? Can I turn it on now? Holy shit, the beauty! It worked! It freaking worked! Whip! I don't believe it worked. I don't think it worked. Or maybe it did. I mean, I got thrown way back in the past, like way before time even existed. Wait, does that even... Am I even... What? Can I... Let me out. Like, let me out. Okay, do I turn the time machine on again? Ow. I gotta turn it down a bit. Damn, that shit hurt my ears. Look. They thought it was safer inside. Don't you know, in any horror game, any movie or whatever, no one's ever safe anywhere?
All right, gotta look for a missing child. You strayed from the park. I'm guessing it was the child. Fuck, I lost my flashlight. Okay. Would you leave it in the car? I mean, it's right there. Anyway, I'm guessing it's this child, like the child from the, the last game. That was missing. Oh well. How convenient. Thank you so much for a flashlight. Police! Open up! Maybe I should have my flashlight out. Go through the back, I guess. Open the door! Police! This is an ordinary abandoned house. No one's lived here for a long time. Okay, take a look around. Uh-huh. A nice little poo house. The last thing I could do is ask for your help. Help me get them back. It doesn't work out. I'm only making it worse. She came to me, but not the same as before. She's angry. I disturbed their peace. I need to fix it. Everything. Who's out there making weird, strange noises? Can you quit? I'm sorry, what was that? Okay. Oh, door's open. I'm just gonna ignore the the, the banging on the out on the outhouse door. Pizza. Ew. Worms all over it. Well, who left that on? Okay. Wait, I feel like I'm missing something in there. I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? I mean, I got matches and I got gasoline. Is that something up there? Do I need to get up there or something? The game not telling me, so I'm not sure. Uh huh. Climb this. Oh, burn this. walking out there, man. Like, what? Okay. Let's just move on with the objective. Hi. You're a really creepy doll.
No, don't do that. The culprit in the accident of Highway 58 testified. I definitely saw that the girl ran out into the road to pick up her toy. I wanted to get away from the collision. The culprit was intoxicated and does not remember what happened after the accident. Recall that as a recall that as a result of the accident, a car caught fire. A woman and a child could not get out of the car. <gasps> Where'd it go? Where'd that dog go? Hi, mannequin. The fuck was that? Did someone sneeze on me? The hell was that? Okay, bye. I'm gonna be following you. Dispensing food. I think I found something. Well, I just got knocked out. Police Sergeant Henry Anderson. He was sent to inspect the surroundings of the park, but during the operation, he stopped contacting. He, he was... He, he got uh, kidnapped by whatever that was. Hanging out in the woods, and... He's probably dead now. Rest in peace, Sergeant Henry. Phil. 3.27 a.m. Wow, who's breathing? Who let the babies out? Who, 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 who let the babies out? I'm not in your house. I'm out here. What a crazy lady. Your brother, Jonathan. Emma, I'm so sorry. I want to help you find JJ, but I can also assure you that the boy was just playing with friends and didn't warn you. He'll be back soon. Your neighbor, Phil. Thanks, Phil. Man, that Phil, he, what a great guy he is. He cared enough to write me a note. Where did my bathroom door go? Who is this? Uh-huh. Excuse me. What? <laughs> hey now. Don't do that. Okay, you're not a rock star. It looks like you need a missing part. Can I take that knife? Maybe that's... I need that. <sighs> Maybe I don't need that. Well, looks like I need a piece. What was that noise? Can I take that? Thank you. Time to light some candles. Yeah. 
interesting. Number one lit, number two lit, number three lit, number four is lit, and number five, can't forget number five, wherever number five is, oh, there's only four candles. Right? There's only four candles, right? Ah. I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was five. I don't know why I thought that. Don't listen to me. You know, it's kind of hard. Hey, a uh, Ouija board. An item is missing. Well, let me put the key in the strong box. Well, you look very small, but the shadow behind you is big and tall. I'm sure, you're not allowed to slam doors in my face. I open them anyway. You can't scare me with a slam door. Thank you for the part. Is this is this on the house? You can't scare me, little child. Nothing can scare me. Okay? I am unscarable. Totally unscarable. See? Can't scare me with that either. Let's put the part in there and let me get my. Thank you. What's that, what's that called again? Don't remember. Oh look, a shadow. Uh, Auntie, is that you? Great, you keep playing with me. I gotta block my pad, I gotta go backwards. Look at that, they're all just playing with me. Here's hell. Welcome to hell. Who's texting me? I don't know. Dad, dang it, need a password. Son of a. Horror. Oh, look, I can come through here again. Oh, hello. Is, is the doll about to tell me the password? One. Four. Zero. Eight. That is, that is such a creepy looking doll. That way it seems like death. And then I have to start all over again. That would be a horrible thing. Yeah. What a nasty looking basement. Dude, did you... Is that what you were eating? You didn't eat that, did you? That's gross. 
Gross. Okay, turn it on. Oh, I need a, I need a lever. Of course, I need a lever. I need a damn key. I need everything. I need the key code. I need the key. I need a lever. Quit holding things out on me. Okay, I don't. I don't. I look a key. Thanks, mama. I don't know if you're my mama, but. Did you put that there? If you did, thank you. I'm not making much sense, I know. I'm really tired. But I want to at least get a good game here on the channel. I mean, I recorded two, three games and not one of the audio recorded. The key into the box, that's right. Ah, who are you? I want to hear the truth. The Golden Egg is a virtual world created from the memories and actions of a certain person. And we also analyze what he is afraid of in order to use it in the future. The next stage is putting a person's mind into a virtual world so he thinks that everything he sees around him is real. Then we connect the consciousness of a person and try to find out what secrets he keeps. In our egg, we have created a space for a maniac so that he will not be able to distinguish reality from the virtual world and will think that this is his life. While he is distracted, our task is to dig into his memories of this case. To do this, we will connect a person who will explore his world and record evidence for us. Together with the district police, we are launching the system. The office? Communication with Henry has been interrupted. He no longer gets in touch. Henry got beyond the golden egg. Only a maniac knows where he is now. We need a person who has already been to this place in reality. He himself will not get out of this world. Is this where I come into play? We're calling Jonathan. Wait. Be careful, even of those who are to look for you. Jonathan. 113 AM. Jonathan shows me how it was or Jonathan show me how it was, but don't go beyond the boundaries of the world. It's dangerous. I was in this place 20 years ago. It's like I was, it, it, it's like it was yesterday. All right. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of Father's Day. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did. Hit the subscribe button if you're new and you enjoy these last plays. Don't forget to smash that alert icon as well for updates when I upload a brand new video. Just like this one. And I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.